Now, I'm still like a post-it note person. I can't get into putting all of that oh, on my phone. Yeah. I've got to have post-it notes and pieces of paper. I'm a little 50-50. I do really? some of that, but I like just a handwritten note sometimes too. Yes. Depends. <laughs> well, let's be honest. You probably know festive holiday drinks aren't all that healthy, right? But do you know just how loaded with sugar that they really are? I don't think you really want to know, <laughs> but here we go. That kicks off the buzz today. We've got Seth Phillips sticking around. A British survey looked at the sweetness of these drinks and it found a venti sized signature caramel hot chocolate with whipped cream and oat milk. That's a lot. Mm. At Starbucks contains the equivalent of 23 teaspoons of sugar and 758 calories. Latte drinkers did not fare much better. The same sized gingerbread flavored latte has 14 teaspoons of sugar and 523 calories. By way of comparison, 20 ounces of soda contains about 16 teaspoons of sugar, far fewer calories. Starbucks suggests customers worried about sugar order smaller drinks and request skim milk and no whipped cream. Okay, so I like the Vente white chocolate mocha mm. skinny decaf. I'm sure the skinny makes all the difference in the world. Girl, yeah. it doesn't okay. do that. Sure. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. I if feel like I'm If you're getting sitting. all these coffees with yeah. whipped cream and oh, sugar and all this day. other stuff, you're not really worried about the calorie content. Yeah. You're just enjoying the flavor of these drinks. But you can't sit here and say, oh, I can't ever be on a diet. I never yeah. lose weight. It's because you drink all yeah. these coffees. But it's on you. You know what? Skinny Girl has a liquid flavor. That you can pump, yeah. you know, at home yes. and do it. So well, there's, there's that ways there's to options. do it. So that's zero calories. There's, there's always a way. But hey, treat yourself every now and then, right? That's right. Tis the season. Yes, for sure. All Christmas. Do you? <laughs> All right, guys. A Florida mother whose husband is deployed overseas didn't want to leave him out of a holiday photo. So she found a way to make sure that he would be included. This will be Danielle Cobo's first Christmas without her husband. He left earlier this year for a one-year deployment serving overseas in the military as a Black Hawk pilot. Cobo asked him to take a photo of himself in his uniform with his handout, and she was able to digitally put him in the card with the couple's twin boys. Oh, that's How sweet. Amazing. That's amazing. That's some really good editing because that looks very pretty oh. authentic there. You know, and Please. it's like reaching yeah. across time. It's, That's really I mean, there sweet. are all kinds of different things. That is so wonderful. That really is. That I'll is tell good. you what, my dad was deployed in, in Vietnam when, when I was a little girl and it was Christmas time. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, it's very hard for so you families. You did spend a Christmas True. without him. Well, yeah, and yeah. I mean, my very first one when I was mm -hmm. born. And mm -hmm. so, you know, of course, sent flowers to my mom, but it, you know, it wasn't the same, but this is right. beautiful. This is new, new technology for kids to be able to have their, mm -hmm. their parents with them. And that's so important. Because mm -hmm. it's such a time of year that we all associate it spent with yeah. family and it can be tough for some folks who oh, sure. don't have family around for various reasons you know someone deployed being one sure. of them so yeah. always sure. keep everyone in mind around the holidays exactly. you know exactly exactly okay. all right how about this last all one all right wi-fi could become a freebie in Clarksville, Tennessee. The city is doing a test run of a free Wi-Fi service at its annual Christmas fair. If everything goes as planned, officials will consider expending the service citywide. Free Wi-Fi is already up and running in dozens of U.S. cities, including Chattanooga. Officials say they may consider free Wi-Fi as part of their 2021 budget process. Yeah, mm. I don't you have to be worried about that, though. It's, it seems like the security. Oh, yes. yeah. You better have a... Yeah. One of those VPNs that really mm -hmm. help you. Dia, Very will, private network, right? Is that what it stands virtual for? Virtual private Dang network. It. But I like, this. I like, I like the private. very private network. Because it's got to be private. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. what I was talking about. I mean, so what do you virtual. do? You have to like yeah, make, it's, create one? It's basically just a way to make your phone or, or, or the network, make somebody think your network is somewhere else in the United States. Oh. Or it could be anywhere in the world, really. But it's just kind of like an extra layer of security between you and anybody else that's on that network. So you're telling so, a lie. Yeah, but it's a good lie. It's a good lie. So so that's the buzz. <laughs>